Hey guys, it's Dean from Passes Aqua here. This is what we call a natural swim pool. <laughs> So a natural pool is basically a freshwater pool. There's no salt, there's no chlorine. So it's just pure fresh water. Uh, there's two main zones. You get the swimming zone and you get your vegetation zone. So the swimming zone is obviously where you swim in and the vegetation zone is where all the filtering occurs. Um, so it's basically trying to mimic a wetland uh, filtration system where you know the wind and wave action basically moves all the water to the edge and then the plants basically filter it. So, so you can also natural. incorporate an artificial filtration system, which is under here. That's just to make the water a lot more clear. Um, so this is an added thing you can add, depending on the budget. And we'll run through um, how this system works over here a bit later. Okay, so the benefits of a natural pool. Um, as I said before, there's no salt and chlorine. No one really wants to swim in salt and chlorine because it irritates the skin irritates the eyes. A lot of people are allergic to this. So as a result, if you like swimming in lakes, wetlands, and freshwater rivers, then this is basically for you. So that's your obvious benefit. The other benefit is you're using less electricity. A pond pump typically is around about 150 watts. You get out about 10,000 litres per hour. And you basically have two pumps here. So it probably cost you around about, if you run it full time, about $500 a year. If you had a traditional pool pump, you'll be looking at one to two horsepower. And if you run that full time, it's gonna be around about two to three grand per year. But there's a huge saving there straight away. Another advantage is maintenance is also pretty low. Uh, there's, you only have to really maintain the skimmer. Um, you only really have to um, cull the dead plants. Uh, so a little bit of gardening, uh, but that's about it. There's not much more to do. You do service your plants probably once every year to two years. And that's because it's pre-filtered before it gets to uh, the pump. Uh, so if it's pre-filtered, the pumps don't get clogged up. Uh, so there's an obvious benefit there in, in having less maintenance. You do get a biofilm grow on the side, but you can control it with a robotic pool cleaner. Uh, there's a few different types. And if you want one, you can just contact our store and they'll run you through how much it would cost to get that. Um, the other benefits is you're swimming with wildlife. So uh, you're swimming with frogs, your native fish, uh, insects. Uh, if you like this sort of thing, uh, you can swim with wildlife. Uh, some of my clients have uh, turtles in their pools as well. Um, so it's, it's whatever you fancy, whatever you like. Uh, to me, I like swimming with wildlife. That's the whole idea about this. It's sort of like a wildlife pool. It's not just, uh, just for swimming, it's just for so snorkeling and having that experience of swimming with wildlife as well. I explained the benefits, now the disadvantage. Uh, the disadvantage of a natural swim pool, basically none. I'm going to talk about the filtration system. Um, so the way it works is you've got the bottom drains out in the middle in the swimming zones, right? That's where the water comes out through here and it goes through your first chamber, second chamber 
and third chamber. And on your third chamber, you've got your pumps. So your pumps pump out into UV sterilizers outside and then back out through these geysers and also underneath the gravel. So from the gravel up, uh, the water comes out. So as it comes out, the plants filter the dirt and nutrients out. Um, so they're known to take out a lot more nitrates. Um, and you've also got on your first and second chamber, uh, you've got your filter brushes, high surface area to one ratio for good bacteria to grow on. And you've got your Japanese filter matting and your black sponge matting. So that basically is mechanical filtration. Uh, that will take out the dirt. And it also is a surface for bacteria to break down your ammonia, nitrite, nitrate to atmospheric nitrogen oxygen. Uh, so that's how it works. And these just connected by PVC pipes, the chambers. And you've got these holes here. So the bricklayers left a block open. And you've got grates on the side. One thing it's missing is the K1. Uh, we used to have a grate across here. And we used to have lots of K1 beads and the aeration system running. Um, so that also breaks down nutrients. But as you can see, everything's pre-filtered before it touches the pump. So as a result, you really have to service the pump. Yay! So we do get some questions about um, E. coli and Salmonella getting into the system. The chances are extremely low. You've got more chance getting uh, E. coli and stuff in a traditional pool because if you don't put chlorine in salt, you've got to start the ecosystem all over again. So you get algal blooms and, and you get all sorts of nasty bugs in there if you just let it go. Um, so the only way you get E. coli in a system like this is if you get birds and stuff coming in, uh, turtles and stuff, and you get the animal feces going in. And if the pump breaks down and it's not getting filtered, then you might get an algal bloom and a spike in nutrient level. And in warm temperature and high nutrient level and no flow, then you get a chance of getting E. coli in the system. So it's quite obvious when not to swim in the pool. When you see algae, it's uh, indicated that there is nutrients in the system. Um, but yeah, it's, it's very rarely something like that will happen. It can only happen when pumps sort of break down. Um, look, I can pretty much guarantee you like you won't get issues with uh, E. coli and stuff in a system like this, especially when it's running like this, the water's running fine, but can, you can also get your water tested. And look, it's also at your own risk, uh, but I can pretty much guarantee I'm not gonna have any issues with drinking this water. As you can see, there's basically nothing in here. Uh, it's crystal clear water. I reckon it's probably safer than drinking tap water. So I hope I'll be okay. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that video. That's pretty much it for today. Um, hope you guys enjoy your swimming.